Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, today is an important day for the Republic of Italy that turns 74. In fact, the institutional referendum that marked the creation of the Republic took place on the 2nd of June, 1946. This year, the celebration of the Italian National Day takes place under very special conditions because of the coronavirus disease pandemic. Unfortunately, I will not be able to personally meet many of you as we have traditionally done in the past years here in Sofia. The measures undertaken all over the world to respond to the emergency do not allow for community gatherings. Therefore, I wanted to reach you with this video. Italy has been hit particularly hard by the coronavirus 19. My country has been confronted with difficult decisions made necessary for the good of the country. But Italy and the Italians have shown to the world how strong and determined they can be. The fight of the virus and the challenges ahead are not over, but we will make it. We cannot do this alone. The European Union, like the rest of the world, will overcome this unprecedented difficult time. Everybody has been and still is affected by the consequences of the epidemic. To such a common major challenge, we need to act together and avoid divisions that would make our actions ineffective. It will sound familiar to our Bulgarian friends, the motto, United We Stand Strong, that was used for their successful EU presidency in 2018. Well, now the need to be united is more important than ever, and the solidarity that is the foundation of the European construction will be the key to success in overcoming the crisis. The strong and long-standing ties between Italy and Bulgaria in the political, economic, commercial, and cultural field have always been a solid basis on which we are building our future. I can assure that the efforts of the entire embassy, the Italian Cultural Institute, and all the other components of the Italian institutional system in Bulgaria will be devoted to work together for further strengthening the friendship and the collaboration between Italy and Bulgaria. This friendship was also confirmed with the recent visit of our President of the Council of Ministers, Giuseppe Conte, in January this year. An important opportunity for discussion about our shared vision of a cohesive, supportive Europe, open for the integration of the Western Balkans. I want to conclude this brief statement with a personal reference. After four exciting, extremely enriching and fruitful years spent in Bulgaria, my wife and I will leave this country upon completion of my term. We want to extend our sincere gratitude to all of you, Bulgarian friends, Italian friends, and members of the diplomatic community for being close to us and for your inspiration. We will always cherish our time in Bulgaria. Now, as I have been doing every year, let me end by saying in Italian, from the bottom of my heart, Viva l'Italia! Viva la Bulgaria! Viva l'amicizia fra Italia e Bulgaria!